the other day before the whole um, stay home alone uh, social isolation thing happened, my friend showed up at the door with uh, bags and bags of yarn and crochet cotton and uh, I went ooh that's lovely and so some of it um, is now in this basket and there's ten different bobbins and spools and balls of it here and I have combined it together to make a single very bulky strand of yarn and I have warped up the Mighty Big Mama 36 peg uh, pot holder loom which makes a 12 inch square because my husband and I were talking about the whole issue around um, paper products being um, really hard to come by of course uh, with the whole pandemic thing and people panicking and etc etc and I said well you know here's the thing we don't need to use paper towels of course because I can just weave up um, lovely claws for the kitchen and so that's what's happening here 10 strands of abandoned crochet cotton held together and I'm all warped on the Mighty Big Mama I've got the um, shed stick woven through and now I'm going to use those strands of yarn to weave a square on my Mighty Big Mama loom to use in the kitchen as a cloth instead of paper towel. I'll just get the weaving happening and show you how it goes. Weaving with the 10 strands of crochet cotton uh, Oh, this may be look, look a little odd. Uh, this is uh, my rocking chair with a shawl on it. Uh, and I just plunked the... Oh, hello, my darlings. Um, so I just plunked the uh, basket with the... Uh, oh, too heavy to lift all at once. Ugh, the yarn thread uh, onto the chair which is now rocking making me seasick um the weaving was such a pleasure on the um the 36 peg loom that i decided that i should do a 27 peg loom hush puppy and the 18 peg loom i have to stop and close the door because the dogs are going mad because people are walking right by their house Teddy, stop. Shush. There. So now... <laughs> okay, I'm not going to stop quite yet. I just wanted to say that one of my favorite tools for doing the chaining off process is a thrift shop latch hook. And so I use that to um, chain off the edges. And I'm going to stop the camera now and chain off the edges on these three squares. And... Uh, then, if I think the squares are wonderful and deserve to have lots more made, or not, hopefully they will be. So here are the three potholder looms that I used. The 36 peg uh, potholder loom, the Mighty Big Mama, the Pro Size 27 peg potholder loom and the 18 peg potholder loom the standard size which gave me a 6 inch square a 9 inch square and a 12 inch square and oh my goodness they are just lovely uh, working with the uh, abandoned and orphaned crochet cotton that I had bought over the years from the thrift shop and from uh, that also my dear friend brought over for me has been just a delight and these claws are going to become well and truly loved and used in the kitchen although both my husband and I went ooh they are so nice it's going to be hard to let them uh, turn to grubby work but hey better to have things that we can upcycle and use over and over and over again 
which is what these cloths will be used over and over and over again. And of course, I will be making more of them because what a pleasure to weave them. And also, what a pleasure to save the trees and be able to use cloths like this that um, are hand woven instead of uh, destroying the trees. So hurrah for upcycling and hurrah for good earth keeping and hurrah for taking good care of each other too. Be well my friends and I'll talk to you soon.